Hello, we are making a linked uh, spreadsheet here in Microsoft Word. So we're going to use uh, a workbook. Just open up a blank workbook and you're going to be working here with, we're going to have uh, four sheets in total. Okay, you can have more if you want to. Uh, basically, the first uh, sheet, so we're looking down here at the bottom, the first sheet is going to link with the other sheets and the data in the sheets. So that's how, where we get the linked idea. And so we're going to go ahead. I'm in I'm in uh, Microsoft Excel 2013. Uh, it's going to be similar in 2007 and 2010. Maybe a little different look, but you can kind of. It's basically the same idea. So what we're going to do here, we're going to add. I'm going to add three new sheets. So one, two, three. Okay, down here at the bottom and I'm going to name the sheets and so what you can do is you can either right click on the sheet and select rename and then name the sheet the first one is going to be called totals okay uh, so you can also instead of uh, right clicking you can uh, select the sheet and then click again double click and it and it'll select the word so double click on it and it'll select it so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take information uh, so I am an accountant and I have uh, different accounting uh, locations and I'm gonna take the information from those different locations and put them all together into a total so first off I'm going to say my first location is going to be Ontario. Uh, my second location is going to be uh, Vail. And then my third location is going to be uh, Nampa. Okay. And then with... So in order to... So, so what I'm going to do is... It, each sheet is going to have the identical, the same uh, setup. And so in order to have it, um, in order to set that up really quick, what I can do is, you can see the first one is selected here, totals. Uh, what I can do is I can hit the shift key and I can select the rest of my sheets in the workbook. So you can see they're all selected. Up here at the top, you can see the group. Remember at the top in the middle here, it says group, and so they're all grouped together. And so that will allow me to uh, then enter data in. So for example, I can uh, say uh, for the different months, for example, I can go January, February, March, okay, on this. And then going down the side, I can do different types of things like one that can be tax, uh, audit. I can have um, some consulting. I can also do uh, uh, bookkeeping. If I can spell, there we go. And uh, last but not least is going to be payroll. All right. And then for each one of these, I'm going to have um, a uh, and I can also format these. So let's go ahead and format these really quick. Bold them, underline these over on the side. We're going to go ahead and make them italic. And then uh, to unselect the group, we can uh, select on any one of these. So I just clicked Ontario, it ungrouped them. You see the group is missing here. The group in the brackets is missing up at the top in the title. And so then in each one of these, Ontario, Vail, Nampa, I can then enter uh, data for those um, separately. Now that I've got some data, I went ahead and put some data into the three spreadsheets for the locations. 
you can go ahead and do that you know whatever you can, you don't have to do tax stuff you can do you know any type of uh, business or activity and with just just uh, make sure you have maybe three different months and then uh, about five different categories that'll make this uh, <clears throat> make the exercise uh, work out for you um, since I'm since I am doing dollars what I'll go ahead and do I was just going to show you this real quick is I can go ahead and select uh, Ontario Vale and Nampa and group them again so you see they're grouped and then what I can go ahead and do is I can I can select the the number area here and I can uh, change it by going to the home tab the ribbon there in in the number section on the ribbon and hitting the dollar sign so it'll make them uh, formatted in that fashion so again if I go back to any one of the tabs are going to be uh, they're going to have that formatting okay so now to link them together what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to the totals section okay we're going to go to uh, B4 which is the tax in January here so B4 and then when we uh, create a formula in Excel we need to use the equal button and that lets uh, Excel know that we're going to create a formula we're going to be adding subtracting multiplying dividing um, using any num one of the functions in that's built in to Excel so so that lets us lets it know that we're going to be doing a an equation here so what the equation is going to be we're going to add up so with the equal sign in the in B4 we're going to go ahead and add, move to the Ontario sheet and we're going to click on January tax there we see it shows up here up in our uh, formula uh, row up here and then we're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign go to Vail hit the January tax there hit the plus sign again and go to Nampa uh, January uh, tax as well for that for that one there we go okay and then we can hit enter okay and what that does is it zooms us back to the uh, equation that we started with the equal sign and it shows us that now we have the January tax for Ontario Vail and Napa all added together and it equals that amount okay so we're gonna show you the fill options really quick so what we do with the fill options there's a couple of ways to do this we can actually drag this this little uh, the little green box here on the lower right hand corner you can take that and you can drag it and that will fill okay and so what that does is it fills the formula across uh, the hash the hash marks basically tell us that there's not enough space in the in the cell to hold the contents what we, what we can do to, to fix that is we can go in between C and D here in between C and D and we can double click and that will expand uh, the cell to the contents and then go ahead and do it for D and E. There we go. Okay, I'm going to show you another way to do it. Another way to do the fill is uh, we go ahead and select the beginning where we want the fill to start all the way down. Okay, and then we go up here to the upper right corner on the on the home tab on the ribbon here. There's a fill option. Okay. You see the options here you can go down right up left we want to go down so we're going to go ahead and hit down and it'll fill down so that's just one other way to do it and again you can pick multiple like right now I have all these selected I can grab that auto fill handle and and pull it on across and it'll it'll fill it on across there okay uh, so that's that's how you do it. Uh, you can also add totals in here at the bottom um, using auto sum. 
Okay, so we can say, like for example, I can put a grand total. Like that, and we can do use the auto sum here. Okay, and then we can fill it across by dragging. All right, so there we go. So that is just a little bit of uh, of how you do the linked uh, table from the other sheets. So you can you can link it across. Uh, you can continue, you can format this a little more, add some borders, uh, colors, whatever whatever you want to use to make it look nice. And uh, then submit it into Blackboard once you have it all saved.